For all you DaVinci Resolve 19 noobs out there who don't know about this simple, simple thing, you should know about this. You can copy and paste a project. So I got this character level styling project open, all right? The project that you guys love most. And I can copy and paste this project by simply doing Command C or it would be Control C on a PC. And then if you right click, there is a paste option or Command V or Control V. And you can literally paste another project and make a duplicate. So if you guys didn't know, you can copy and paste a project, a very simple and obvious thing that you should be able to do. You would assume that this software could do it and it does if you didn't already know. This is not a very obvious thing that you will know, but it's there. So you can do that. And there's one more thing I wanna show you. If you didn't know, you can duplicate a timeline. So let's say you wanna make a copy of your timeline to maybe make some adjustments and then go back to the original if you don't like them. You can uh, duplicate the timeline by simply going into the media pool, selecting your timeline, right clicking it, go down to duplicate timeline. And you can do the same thing in the media pool as well. It might be easier for you to do it here. So if you didn't know, if you haven't been using DaVinci Resolve for very long, you can do that and it's really, really nice and it helps you organize or just experiment. Now there's another thing I wanna show you related to timelines. And what it is, is the ability to import or export a timeline, which is insane. It's not the whole project, it's just the timeline itself with all the media in that timeline, okay? So select whatever timeline you want to export, right click on that timeline, go to timelines, and then there's a drop down. Go to exports, and then there's a drop down, and then you can export the timeline, okay? So what you can do is click on that first option and then it will allow you to save it wherever you want and just click on DaVinci Resolve Timeline Files and boom, you saved your timeline. You can save it in other formats too, but this is the most common one that people do and I suggest doing that if you're new to DaVinci Resolve and editing as a whole. But yes, you can export your timelines and only that, not the whole project, you might not want the whole project, and then you can import that timeline into a different project. So to import a freaking timeline, right click in your media pool, and then go to timelines, and then go to import, and then there's a drop down, and then click on that first option, and then you click on whatever file it is. So it would be that one that I would have exported and then it will bring it into here just like so. Now it's essentially the same thing as selecting all of your stuff and then copying and pasting it into a project, but it's another way of doing it. So it's really nice that you have that option to export or import a timeline, okay? I love it. There's another thing I wanna show you which is really, really nice and convenient and just a cool little thing that DaVinci Resolve has. And thank you Blackmagic for doing this. So what you can do as well with your timelines in the media pool is right click on that timeline. And then what you can do is go to timelines and then add to render queue using whatever preset you want or the 264 or H265 or ProRes. It's so cool that you can literally add a freaking timeline to the render queue in the edit page. You don't have to be on the deliver page. You don't have to be here if you don't want to. And I just think that that is super duper cool and convenient and amazing. And then the last thing I wanna show you guys, the last quick trick or uh, pro tip, whatever you wanna call it, I'm just so excited. What you can do is you can import a folder structure from your storage on your computer or an external hard drive and literally just get it into your project and have it organized and structured the same way that it is structured and organized in your storage. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna create a new bin and I'm just gonna say uh, test, okay? And so 
I want to have all of these folders into this bin, okay? And these folders have other subfolders, okay? So keep that in mind. Some of these folders have other subfolders, but I'm gonna right click on these four. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of the capture, I don't need that. So I want to bring all these into here. And I can do that by right clicking with them selected, go down to add folder and subfolders into media pool, create bins, <laughs> and then it will literally keep that folder structure and organize it all into your project with all the media that you need. So here is the test bin and I got the can't place a transition solution tutorial that I made and that is from here and then this one from here, this one from here and it is all here, it's all here. Everything from that media storage is in here and organized that same exact way. I'm showing you all my all my stuffs that I've uploaded and whatnot. But it's amazing that you can import these folders the same exact way and just have it organized right off the bat if you want it to be organized that way. It's super duper nice, I love it, oh my God. I can't express it enough. There's one more thing that I wanna show you now that I think about it. This is gonna be a bonus, okay, a bonus. And what I'm gonna show you is if you click on these three dots right here, all right, these three dots will allow you to click on show power bins, okay? What a power bin does is allow you to link footage from your storage into here, okay? And then you can drag whatever is in here into your media pool, and it's essentially a shortcut from your media storage. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna create a new folder, and I'm gonna call this, let's say, screen recording and I spelled it wrong and I don't care. I completely spelled that wrong, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this screen recording into here, okay? So now that it's in there, let's say I open up a project. Let's say I just opened up this project, right? I'm in the timeline, okay, I want to bring that one clip I found, okay? I wanna bring that into here, so let me create a folder, call it screen recording, okay, so I now want to grab that clip. But let's say that I, you know, maybe this, like, thing, maybe this clip is not very accessible, like, it's not easy to get to, it's very buried into my storage, like, it's within three folders, and I don't want to open all those folders, I want a shortcut. If I go to power bins, okay, I can drag it from here into that bin, and now it's in there. Like I said, a shortcut, okay? You don't have to go into these different subfolders and find it, you know what I mean? That's a bad example, but you get the point. You don't have to go into these subfolders and look for that clip. What I can literally do is drag stuff into this power bin, and instead of looking for it and spending the time to find it in my volumes, in my storage, I can drag it from this power bin shortcut, and then I can easily get it into my project. It's a quick shortcut, it's so good and helpful. You would love it. I recommend putting the most important stuff that you reuse all the time into that folder, okay? So if you reuse like stock footage of something particular, put it in here, whatever it is. It's amazing, I love it so much, and I hope that you would love it and that it would be helpful for you. And that's all I have for you. So five things, not four. And um, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'm gonna have to end the video here. And if you did enjoy, awesome. And if you learned something, awesome. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will answer to the best of my ability like I have been. You can see the comments down below. I've been answering and I've been reading them and you guys have been wondering stuff. So that's great, it's good to be learning. And without further ado, I will catch you guys next time.